Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about a turtle shell. <laughs> well, not really, but I want you to think about your critical, critical listening room as kind of a turtle. And we really have two parts to it. We have a shell and then we have a treatment, which is kind of the insides. So you can think about a turtle, you know, or a tortoise. They have this really hard shell and inside, you know, is their body. So the softer tissue and stuff like that. So that's the treatment side of it. So the shell is all about noise and the inside's all about treatment where we apply, you know, the particular rates and levels of absorption and diffusion, okay? So noise is defined as sound leaving or entering our room. It's a two-way valve. Sound from the outside comes in and bothers us. We produce sound on the inside, leaves the room, bothers others especially in Los Angeles. We're building a studio for an engineer in his garage and his neighbor's six feet away. And he likes to work at two and three o'clock in the morning. And he's a rock guy, you know, he mixes rock. So the noise floor in LA and the neighborhoods in the noise floor in LA drop 30, 40 points at night after 11 o'clock. So he's two, three o'clock in the morning mixing it 95, 100 dB SPL sometimes, and his neighbors are sleeping six feet away. You can imagine the challenge that presents, okay? So our shell that we have to build is called, also called the barrier. Barrier is what you build between source of the noise and the receiver. Now, if the source of the noise is you in the room, the barrier will help the neighbor. If the neighbor is the source of the noise, the barrier will help you inside the room, okay? And then inside the room, once again, treatment, and that's the low, middle, and high frequency stuff that we deal with all the time, okay? Carbon, foam. Shell. Here's what people don't understand. The materials and the construction methodology are frequency and amplitude dependent. Now, what does that mean? That means for every frequency of noise, and amplitude of that noise or strength, there is a particular material that you have to use. Not only is there a particular material, but you have to build it a certain way. So you got two things working against you here. You've got uncertainty about the noise, uncertainty about the materials, and uncertainty about how to build it. You're never gonna get through all that guessing. Like I always say, guessing with noise is a fool's game, okay? So our treatment, our shell, our noise is frequency and amplitude dependent. So is the treatment on the inside. We don't use foam to, to, to solve low frequencies below 100. We use carbon. So everything has its place. Everything fits. Getting good sound quality in a room is all about doing a lot of little things correctly, but more importantly, in the correct sequence or order. All right, so what are the three rules that we're going to follow? Measure twice, cut once with noise. We've got to measure. We measure over seven days. We look at the minimums and the maximum pressures each day. Nice to have something in the middle. Don't need it, but nice to have for reference. We have a whole process where you take the measurements with your phone, send them to us. I look at them compare the noise to our database of 265 rooms now, I believe. I'll find the answer for you in that database. But I gotta know what your problem is. I have the solution, but I have to know what your problem is, okay? And so do you, because you want it to be 100% fixed and 100% right with noise. You don't wanna be messing with noise, it's no fun. And it's a lot of money. It can be four, five, six times more expensive than the treatment inside the room. So measure twice, cut once. 100% fixed, 100% right. You'd be done with it. You don't want to spend any more money than you have to. You're never going to get it back. It's not absorption and diff uh, diffusion that you can take with you to the next room. It's gone. It's built. And always remember, physics is the law. Everything else is a suggestion. Boy, does that hold true for noise. All right, so I hope this helps. Thank you. 
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.